we are so exhausted by endless Facebook scandals. This company is doing harm and it knows it. I guess 2016 is a wake up call for the world about how Facebook could be used to spread disinformation. They also sent a clear message to the industry. Don't step on Facebook's turf. You will face the wrath of Mark. Facebook's app went dark for several hours today. And it's going to take a lot for Facebook to get through this. But our advertisers are going to start to spend their money in other platforms. TikTok. TikTok has taken the world by storm in just three years. TikTok is the latest app to capture the attention of teens and young adults across the world. TikTok is fascinating. Uh, it is all about fun and money. TikTok, it's, it's like the party you want to be at at the moment. Is this perhaps the next big thing? Seven reasons why Facebook can't beat TikTok. For many years, Facebook ruled supreme as the biggest social media platform, amassing almost 3 billion users worldwide. It seemed that nothing could shake its reign, and even some other promising apps and platforms eventually failed. Year after year, Facebook and its messaging apps consistently stayed the most downloaded apps out there. Until 2020, that is. Then a new contender appeared on the market. A Chinese company, ByteDance, developed TikTok, which quickly captivated millions of young adults, teens, and preteens worldwide. For a while, it seemed to be just another fad that would fade away in a few months. Yet, in 2020, TikTok overtook Facebook as the most downloaded smartphone app, which was a feat no one expected. Soon after that, it reached a billion users, and that number is still rapidly growing. So, if things keep going the way they do, Facebook might finally be dethroned. Its growth has certainly slowed down over the years, while TikTok's rise has only started. But what exactly is TikTok's secret? And how come a giant such as Facebook can't keep up? Let's examine that in more detail. Number one, TikTok has an incredibly refined algorithm. Though vastly different apps, both Facebook and TikTok allow you to view content that other people post. There's a crucial difference between the two though. When you look at your Facebook feed, you'll mostly see posts your friends made, as well as the most popular ones from pages you follow and groups you're in. Occasionally, you might come across content that's suggested to you based on your preferences, but that's not so prevalent. TikTok is quite different in this aspect though, and that's where its success lies. In other words, TikTok's algorithm is fine-tuned to your specific interests, and as time goes by, it learns exactly what your preferences are. So while you can follow TikTokers and add friends, your For You page won't focus just on their content. TikTok's goal is for you to discover new content to like and follow, and the algorithm is incredibly good at what it does. So let's compare these two apps' approaches. On Facebook, you'll usually see your friends' posts, which allow you to connect to them but might not interest you as much. But if you're using TikTok, you have a whole feed filled with just the kind of content you'd like. Ultimately, it's no wonder people are flocking to the newer app in millions. In many ways, TikTok represents the future of social media. Number two, TikTok is where trends are born. Whether you use TikTok or not, you've surely heard of the trends this app is famous for. Various TikTok challenges spread like wildfire on this social media, and millions of people across the globe gladly participate in the fun. It's a great way to feel like a part of the group and also make quality content that's more likely to go viral. And this promise of going viral and quickly gaining a large follower base is attractive to many. TikTok's algorithm is largely responsible for the ease with which trends develop, but it's not just that. The app itself is designed in such a way to encourage making dance challenges, lip syncing videos, and other quick and easy content with the potential to become viral. And since the app's main demographic is teens, it's no wonder that trends rule supreme. After all, they are far more likely to try things out just because their peers are doing them. On the other hand, Facebook is a platform for connecting with friends and sharing rather than starting trends. Of course, that's not to say that no trends ever began on Facebook, but this social media simply isn't as famous for it, and as such, it doesn't have the same draw that TikTok does. Number three, TikTok's community diversity is unparalleled. With over a billion users worldwide, both Facebook and TikTok have thousands of communities to cater to different interests. On Facebook, you can join various groups with all sorts of purposes to learn the information you want to know or share content. On TikTok, a simple hashtag search will serve you up thousands of videos related to the subject you're interested in. So if both social media platforms have countless diverse communities, how come TikTok still beats Facebook? Well, once again, its algorithm is what truly makes a difference. While you can find fantastic groups on Facebook, you'll typically need to specifically look for them or have friends add you to them. With TikTok, you might have to type a specific hashtag at first, but the algorithm will learn what you like and eventually introduce you to new communities. And many of the communities you can find on TikTok don't exist anywhere else. 
Take, for instance, the cottagecore community, a subculture focused on countryside aesthetics and idyllic houses in the woods. Or if you're interested in witchcraft, you can find plenty of TikTokers telling fortunes and talking about spells. Now, we can't say for sure that these niche communities don't exist on Facebook, but we can conclude by the sheer fact that TikTok is known for them, that they're much bigger and more accessible there. And that's exactly what many people are looking for. Number four, Facebook is social media for older generations. About a decade ago, Facebook was all the rage among teens. It was new, exciting, and full of fun features. Most importantly though, their parents didn't quite understand it and didn't even use it for the most part. That changed though. Over time, parents realized that this new website their kids were using had a lot to offer for them too. Connecting with friends and family that live far away, keeping in touch with your social circles, and faster information exchange weren't just reserved for teenagers. Adults wanted to be a part of it too, and their profiles soon sprung up everywhere on Facebook. Of course, that doesn't mean teens and preteens left right away, but Facebook's original appeal slowly faded, and now they looked for a new place they could claim. And TikTok happened to be just what they needed. The rise of TikTok didn't kill Facebook's popularity, but it certainly threatened it. That's not particularly surprising either when it comes to social media. Preteens, teens, and young adults definitely have a lot more to say than older generations. They are the ones who spend the most time on it, as well as the ones social media mainly caters to. And it seems that Gen Z chose TikTok as their go-to app, meaning that its popularity and influence will only keep growing. Number five, TikTok features exclusively visual content. By now, everyone knows what kind of content can typically be found on TikTok. For the most part, creators film short videos, usually lasting less than a minute, add some music or filters, and post them. Occasionally, you'll come across a short text or a caption, but even that always comes with something else playing in the background. In other words, much like YouTube, TikTok is home to visual content, only much shorter. On the other hand, Facebook offers a mixed bag of content. Since people are visual creatures, most of it does contain a picture or a video. But you can also come across lengthy text posts, written statuses, and other non-visual content. Facebook posters frequently combine text and pictures too in order to draw their followers' attention. Of course, some social media users prefer text posts over videos and pictures, but a majority don't, which perfectly explains why TikTok is as popular as it is. Just think about it. Would you rather spend a few minutes reading a post or watching a video on the same topic? Most people would choose the latter as they find visual content more engaging than other types. This sort of attitude is prevalent among younger people. The more pictures and videos, the better. So it's not surprising TikTok would be their favorite app. And as we've already established, young people dictate social media's popularity, thus cementing TikTok on the top. Number six, TikTok's feed is endless and always engaging. We've already mentioned TikTok's famous For You page, but we'll bring it up again as it's one of the main reasons this app is as popular as it is. If you use TikTok, you may have noticed that the For You page is essentially endless. You could lie in your bed scrolling for hours and you'd still keep coming across new and interesting content. TikTok always seems to have something to offer. Now, you might say that your Facebook feed and YouTube homepage also always have new content, but that's not quite the case. If you were to sit and scroll down your Facebook feed, it would surely grow stale after half an hour. Posts that you've already seen before would start showing up and eventually you'd have nothing to look at. Even refreshing wouldn't help too much after a while. And it's not just Facebook, most social media aside from TikTok don't have infinite feeds. So how exactly does this endless for you page help TikTok's popularity? Well, you might feel more inclined to use TikTok when you know that it'll show you something new whenever you open the app. This feature also makes TikTok particularly addictive, which is good for the app, but may be problematic for its users. Number seven, the content on TikTok is short and quick. Although TikTok's For You page can keep you scrolling for hours, the clips you'll find on it last only a few seconds. The actual video length limit is three minutes, but most of the content there doesn't last that long, and unsurprisingly, that's one of its biggest draws. But why exactly are people more inclined to watch several of these short videos than a longer one? Well, in today's world, everything is moving faster and faster and we constantly feel as if we're lacking time. So if a friend sends you a 20 minute video from YouTube or a lengthy Facebook post, you'll probably think that consuming this content would require too much commitment. But if you receive a five second clip, that won't be the case. After all, everyone can afford to waste five seconds. Younger generations are particularly prone to this kind of thinking because they're already so used to quick content. When everything's short and concise, attention span suffers. You can no longer concentrate long enough to watch or read longer content. And so naturally, TikTok becomes a perfect choice. Of course, Facebook has quick content too. You can find short videos on there, one sentence statuses, and a few second long stories. But this kind of content isn't its main selling point like it is for TikTok. Simply put, Facebook works in an entirely different way than TikTok. 
but it seems that the latter is the new generation's choice. TikTok is the future. No one can tell for sure how long TikTok will keep its spot or what its future holds. It's tremendously popular now, but who knows what fate awaits it in two or three years. Still, one thing is certain, in some ways TikTok represents the future of social media. Apps that come after it might look different and have different names, but they're likely to use and build on TikTok's features. So, we can expect even more refined algorithms, snappier content, and greater accessibility. And the way it is now, how can Facebook compete with that? There you have it, seven reasons why Facebook can't beat TikTok. Let us know in the comments, what do you want to see next on our channel? As always, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the ring bell notifications button to know whenever we post any new videos. Here are some other videos that we think you'll like watching next. See ya!